<laughs> well, we're All gonna right. volunteer you. <laughs> I'm fine with that. I was on mic doing host and restream earlier today, so I'm hey, plenty nice. warmed up. Are we live? I think we're live. Yes, you are live. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Sweet. Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome to the Fairly Odd Parents Shadow Showdown All Levels Race between myself, Earl Grey, uh, KZ, and uh, Rebel Rose. Hi. Hey, what's up? Um, I guess uh, I think we're a little behind schedule, so we will go ahead and just get started if y'all are ready. Yeah. Hey, yeah. I'm ready um, when all you are. Good to go. Sure. KZ, you want to give us a countdown? All right, so we'll go on. Um, go. So, three, two, one, go. And we're off. Alright, so the beginning of the game is uh, this tutorial stage. If you're not familiar with Fairly Odd Parents Shadow Showdown, this will give you a little basic overview. Um, it's a silly 3D platformer with uh, a pretty basic move set that becomes much more interesting as the game progresses. We can run, jump, double jump, and uh, run jump. And run jumping uh, is one of the main mechanics in this game. Oh my goodness, I fell off the bookshelf. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I almost did too. I, oh, I just did too, so don't worry. Oh, let's my, go. My uh, jump got. Yeah, my jump got eaten as I went around uh, the corner. Yeah, I had the same. I had the same. Uh. We were off to a blazing um, but with, then. So as you run, there's a little meter in the bottom right corner that depletes, and that's like your energy or stamina meter. And when you jump after running, you, uh, you regain stamina while you're in the air, even though you're moving at run speed. Has anybody did anybody get Quick Star? No, no, I did not, unfortunately. No Quick Star over here. Yep, I didn't get it either. So there's there's a trick that first little Wish Star that appeared, which is that little yellow star. Uh, it ran away from us. Uh, but there is a a weird movement set. If you saw some, we, uh, some of us probably like ran and jumped over towards that cutscene, which doesn't look that abnormal. But we're actually jumping in a really precise spot to try to get that star to not run away after the cutscene, um, and that saves of uh, probably about twenty seconds. I think it's actually up like 10 seconds. Yeah, it's, more, uh, yeah, it's like like 9 or 10 seconds. And of course, uh, this being a speedrun, we skip all the cutscenes we can, but not every cutscene is skippable. Uh, so... Oh my goodness, I can't hit the targets. <laughs> yeah, I'm... Are you guys not in fairy world already? Oh my goodness. I've just, I just got uh, into the loading screen for Fairy World. I messed up the I'm targets. I'm still doing today. targets. I'm still doing targets. <laughs> because for some reason, my targets don't want to break. Yeah, the Come slingshot on. is a really terrible uh, wish. It's one of the worst wishes in the game. Also, wishes are items that there we, we get after getting three of those stars. Uh, the first one in that level is a slingshot, and it's just terrible. Um, you'll never see it again because the wishes do not travel between levels. So the items that you see us get are level dependent. Also, uh, KZ, feel free to describe what's going on in your screen because I believe you are in the lead. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Put on the spot. So, yeah. Right now with uh, Fairy <laughs> World, there's a little tight jump that I just did across. There's uh, an area that apparently construction is going on. Uh, we can hop on top of the barrier that um, is being put in our way. Uh, we're supposed to go on this really long route around using uh, the card suit launcher that we have. Um, but instead we can just use that and jump across. Um, I um, right. <laughs> might have done bridge skip and fell off. So. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Rip. It's going great. That just makes up for uh, huh. me not falling off the bookshelf. <laughs> just leveling the playing field for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I'm just finally now getting to move skip, so. Alright, I'm about to go for Quint skip, which is a cutscene skip, which I'm gonna go for and then I'll explain it. Um. Okay, I did not get it, unfortunately. Um, I did. So Quint Skip saves about uh, 49 seconds, I believe. Uh, I timed it out the other day. 
Um, and uh, basically, if you pause on the first frame of this cutscene or the second frame of this cutscene, you can select skip scene, which will skip cutscenes like we normally see. But right now, if I pause, like I just did a quick pause for you, there is no skip scene. Um, and but there is for the first two frames. And if you are able to do that, Timmy will basically pop out of the cutscene, and the dialogue will play, but you can move around, um, and Quince will be uh, invisible. Um, but skipping that cutscene saves a lot of time. But to bounce I just got what, it. Bounce off what Earl nice. just said. Um, there's also a backup for Quinn Skip, where there are two cutscenes you have to skip, and you can get it on the second cutscene as well. Uh, Quince will be yep. visible this time. It's slightly slower um, due to the fact you have to run to the button and bounce that before you can spawn Quince, which loses a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. But it is the backup. Yep. Yeah, I actually don't know how to do that backup very well. I've only gotten it like once. I'm usually better getting the backup. Oh, interesting. I'll have to try it a little bit more. You'll also note that during that Quince fight, uh, the first, like, bar of his health is really difficult to, like, lower because he's just invulnerable for a while for some reason. Yeah. Because he's got this weird, like, thing where he, like, decides which suit he wants, even though it's always the same one every time. Yep. Yeah, that pattern is uh, always the same. And that's what the button does. It just changes the suit. Yeah. Uh, are y'all doing dad next seeing... or... I'm doing chin first. Yeah, I was actually gonna... Yeah, I was just gonna say that we're probably gonna have some rat differences here. Where some of us are going to dad, some of us are going to, to chin. Yeah, I'm in chin. Kaze, you're doing chin, right? And then Rose, you're gonna do dad's I'm doing chin think, as well, right? actually. I'm actually doing Oh, chin, then actually so... we're all the same. Right. Yeah, awesome. it used to be everybody went to dads first because dad used to have the harder skips, but now that we've found some new things in Shin, which we'll explain when we get to them, um, we've started doing Shin first more often because we lose runs more often in Shin now than we did in dads. Yep. Uh, you might have seen a little bit of route differences in the beginning of Chin here, um, where I went and got the pogo stick first, but I believe Kaze gets uh, the glider first. Is that correct? Yeah, that is correct. Yes. Yeah, so I, they, I, the, I get the, the pogo as well first. Yeah, pogo first is a little bit easier, but glider first is uh, a little bit faster by, I believe it's like five or ten seconds faster if you compare optimal attempts for both. Believe me, it was not optimal. I did not save time. <laughs> but it's a it's a good uh, thing to learn because when you do get really good runs of it, you do save. It's like a free time save. All right, so, uh, oh no, I didn't get it. Um, so there's an, an interesting trick that you probably have seen us do now, which is called infinite hover. And so with, uh, with infinite hover, Oh my goodness, I can't get the glider out. <laughs> if you use the item and hit the... Oh my goodness, I keep like messing up the infinite hover. At this point, like this trick isn't even gonna save time. <laughs> but if you uh, if you use the infinite hover and uh, you go through this door up here, um, we can do an interesting trick that allows us to skip a couple of rooms, uh, but it is frame perfect. I did yeah. get I did get first uh glider climb. That's, oh wow, that's I totally great. messed it up. My my thumb slid off the stick on my controller. I'm I, about uh, to attempt it right now. I died during the next room with the hippos, so not saving as much time. <laughs> I'm about well, to uh, attempt it this, this will be good for the viewers. Yeah. They'll get to see uh, a couple different ways of doing it. Mm -hmm. Um oops, I didn't mean to do that. Um, so, uh, basically what, what happens is if you use the glider on the first frame of the cutscene, oh crap, I just got killed by a robot. Um, if you use the glider on the first frame of a cutscene, uh, Timmy will gain height during the entire cutscene, and then you will be entering, uh, and then you'll be in the glider animation with full, uh, like, energy left. Um, and so with that trick, we're able to, uh, that's why we go to the other side of that door and do that weird little infinite hover. 
is to set up for that specific trick so that we can skip a couple rooms. And so you'll notice that I, right now, I just got to the room that uh, KZ was able to go right to. Yeah. So I'm not too far behind you now, Earl. But oh, okay. We got, we got, we got, a, we got a chance. We got a chance. Don't worry, I'll blow it in Olga. It'll be fine. Give you guys plenty of time. Oh, I'm to definitely gonna blow it in Olga. Unless but... I get the glider climb for Olga. I was gonna say, Casey's just gonna pull out a world record right now. <laughs> Um, but yeah, the rest of the stage is a lot of just kind of traversing and trying to get to the final boss area. Um, <clears throat> there is a, a cool little glider climb, or I'm sorry, infinite uh, hover right here, where uh, you can skip going through this room. You can actually do this without infinite hovering with just a really precise hover, but it is very tough to get. But that is what we did before we had the infinite hover strat. And then I'm going to go for another glider climb here, which saves about 25 seconds. Alright, that was a couple frames early. Um, basically, if you get it through this cutscene, you'll see Timmy during the cutscene just rise through the middle of the room, and then I don't have to climb this room, and it saves about 25 seconds. Unfortunately, did not get the old glider climb. Darn. Now's my chance to take back first place. I did hurt my <laughs> arm, though, trying to spam the button, so I get a prize. Oh no! It's just not the prize that I was hoping for. Oh, I got I got glider climb for uh, the button. Nice. Oh god, should I ex explain reverse oh, I get... Olga? Yeah, sure. You can go ahead and explain reverse Olga. So. With the Olga boss fight, which I'm currently at, um, there are three different buttons you have to hit to defeat Olga. Um, and if you go through it casually, you'll go through button one, button two, and then button three, obviously. Um, and then platforms will break apart and areas will open up. Um, but it is actually faster to instead go straight to the third button and then work your way backwards. Um, and you can see what I'm doing. We hop on top of that like water tanker thing and then I go and I... Glider climb. Ooh. Oh my goodness. You got Sorry. the third one? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no way. That's awesome. Oh, God. Literally my first time ever getting it, but... Sorry. Yeah, you were just talking about how well. you've never gotten it before on the, on that one. That third one is basically random because you, you have to spam the button in between two cutscenes because cutscenes in this game spawn in batches and you have, you have to hit it on the first frame and not Aww. the second frame. I missed, I missed the landing though. Oh, rip. It's really tough. There's a lot going on that you have oh, to Oh, you were really for. close, though. I just looked back and saw it. Yeah, I was off by, like, two Timmy's. You were off by, like, a <laughs> foot. You were insanely close. Oh. Oh. Uh, you oh. might see a couple different uh, methods of reverse Olga. There are probably, like, five or six different ways to do it. Um, this whole room is pretty broken. There's a lot of stuff you can platform on that you're not, like, intended to. Um, and that makes for a pretty fun situation. So even if you don't get that cool frame-perfect trick and save that, you know, like, 45 seconds to a minute, it's still super fun to play. Yeah. It's also worth noting that for, like, beginners and stuff, like, none of these frame-perfect tricks are even remotely required to play the game. Um, or, like, even get good times. Uh, like, most runs on the leaderboard don't use a lot of these tricks because they are so new. Yeah. Yeah, for example, I, uh, I actually I came think into Second the Place frame. is the only one that uses them. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, even for any percent, which is the exact same as all levels up into a certain point of the run, uh, I didn't start learning these glider climbs and these frame perfect tricks until I was under 30 minutes. So it's definitely not required to get a very, very competitive time. Right. That's yeah. a very good point. I don't even. Koro did, wasn't even around when any of these were a thing, right? Is this what my dad the world record holder, who's still holding the world record, uh, doesn't use any of these tricks because he just wasn't around for them. Yeah, Koro, uh, Kurobi, uh, 
pretty much only has only come back one time since I've started speedrunning this game like seven years ago. And it was when uh, the infinite hover was found. And they were like, oh shit, that's actually pretty cool. I want to do that. And they came back and uh, just secured their world record a little bit more. But they are the only person that has ever held a world record in either category. Or really any category if you include all collectibles. Yeah, if you don't uh, if you don't count ILs, because uh, there are a lot of people who have had IL world records. Um, their IL grinding is uh, a bit was for a time a lot more popular than full game for this game. Yeah. All right, I'm doing dad skip right now, so I'm doing some out of bounds platforming. You probably saw Kays do this already, but basically the whole point of this weird level is to hit the levers on these machines in order to wake dad up. Um, oh, I failed it, but I landed back on the pipe, so. We can try again pretty quickly. Oh no, I fell out of bounds. Man, I was getting oh, this no. like first try every time in practice. Um, I should but yeah, we I just want to do chin, but. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh... But basically, we want to platform out of bounds and just skip this whole platforming section. Um... Oh yikes! Right. <laughs> I can't get Dad's dream, dude. Or dad's good. So I got another it. slight oh. rat difference that I don't think y'all uh, really think about too much is the way we do the first suit skip, where we run around that first suit. Because I remember the first time you saw me run around the suit, the suit on the left side, you're like, "It's possible to run around its left side." Yeah, it blew my mind. I had no idea. <laughs> yeah, and it's literally the only way I know how to do it. I I cannot do it if I do it on the right side. I got reverse suit skip. Yeah, the right side, a uh, I found a line up like a better camp. Oh, nice. Yeah, the, the getting that uh, suit skip in reverse does save time, but it is like insanely tight. Uh, the only person that I've ever seen get it consistently is Kurobi. Yeah, we we uh the three of us have been grinding for some records for a while, trying to trying to steal them from Kurovi. Maybe it would coax them back into coming back and learning some of these tricks, and then stealing the records back from us forever. <laughs> but it'd be fun. All about. Oh, I bonked trying to get one of the stars. Oh god, the bonks just. I think I bonked like three times in a row during Shin. Like. Oh no. Yeah, um, oh yeah, so this one item also, it's a light bulb that collects moths. That's how we're supposed to get past the suits, because the moths eat the suits. Um, yeah. It's pretty goofy. We could also see, I made it to the second lever, and literally, they didn't think about the collision of this little light that you're supposed to get a moth from. Uh, they didn't really think about the fact that you can jump on top of it, and then quickly jump to the next area to completely skip that entire part. Right. Yep, it is It is as easy as it looks, too. You could pick up this game having never played it and do that in five minutes. Yeah. Or less. Easily one of the, the cleanest, or the easiest skips just out of this entire mm -hmm. game. And it saves a really yeah. good chunk of time as well. Yeah, it yeah. probably saves... I don't actually. I actually don't know how much it saves because I've never gone through that part of the level casually. I, I have because I used to play this game all the time as a kid, but... Yeah, well, I haven't done it since I was a kid, and I it's been so long that I just don't even remember. But, Casey, you did all collectibles, so maybe you know. Uh, not... <laughs> not really. Uh, that was quite a long time ago. I don't even think I did splits <laughs> for that. I did, uh... Oh, I just, wow. I pulled out my phone, set the timer off, and was like, alright, I don't have anything to do this afternoon. <laughs> Um, all right, so the, this last uh, section or th that we got this last wish for um, is really annoying uh, because the item is an air horn. Uh, but there's also an infamous crash that we do not understand. Uh, so we all have backup saves in case we get the crash. Um, and basically, there's just this one spot where you use the air horn that sometimes the game crashes, and we don't know why. I am past. Also, past uh, that with crash. that with that crash, thank God you got past it. Thank God. Ah oh, darn. 
this jump is pretty tight. Uh, you have to get the the jump in the in mid air and the camera lineup just right. Oh, gap skip, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I missed it first time, but I got it second time. I'm past the crash zone, so that little jump pad I was on is where the game usually crashes. Um, if it's gonna crash. Yeah, I, I, people who have watched me like on stream, I almost always go no whammies, no whammies, no whammies, right, right. I like the the wish there because I'm weird that way. Uh, it's it's like a superstitious. You're like, I can't get it if I do this. What is? Right. Oh God! The crash, I mean... the the crash can't get me if I tuck myself in all the way under my covers. <laughs> right. I'm gonna lose my mind if I don't. Please tell me where uh, no whammies is from. Like big money, no whammies. Please. I'm gonna lose. Uh, my... it's from Press Your Luck. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I was trying to remember. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Also remember watching the show and hearing big money, no whammy, big money, no whammy. Sorry, side tangent, but... <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Uh, yeah, that uh, that section has a lot of little interesting jumps that are pretty tight. Um, once you learn them and learn the timing, it's not too bad, but uh, learning them takes a little while to grind them out for the for the first time. Yeah, the devs put just like left random collision on a bunch of stuff because they didn't think people would think to jump on there. Like, yeah, I, I think it's honestly more to do with the fact that they just, like, it was faster to code everything as having collision most of the time than not. Right. Also, I think, uh, yeah, uh, KZ, uh, you, are you done with the auto-scroller? I'm not yet. I'm eight fuel light bulbs through. Okay. Yeah, I am just entering it. It's pretty goofy. I'm gonna try to make mine a little bit more, a little bit entertaining, just because there's like uh, a couple spots you can like flip into the terrain. Did you, do you do any of that? No, nah, I've just been kind of firing as fast as I possibly can, and that's entertaining, apparently. At least for me. <laughs> that's, okay, that's but like, who do who do y'all pick for the auto scrollers? I always pick Wanda. Wanda. <laughs> I always pick Cosmo. Always Wanda. Because Cosmo's the default, right? Yeah, Cosmo's I mean, default. So like Cosmo's technically faster. Yeah. By like two frames. Yeah, I mean, by like a couple of frames if you're really fast. I don't know, I'm just a big green fan, you know. I just I just like Wanda. I don't know. Damn. I like them both, but like you know, if I had to choose. I really <laughs> wish uh Juan Decimo was playable. That would that would be my pick every there, time. That's what I, that that should have been the hundred percent unlockable uh, reward. When you instead when of Chester and AJ. <laughs> no no no, Juan Dixon was better. Uh, you uh, do you want to talk about the KZ or the boss fight KZ? Or you want me to t explain it? Uh, I can at least mention the fact that um, the skip scenes for this part are incredibly tight because what you can accidentally do. Um, is you can uh, skip the scenes too fast uh, before the cutscenes actually play, and what the ro the robot will do is it'll just sit there, and you have to kill yourself, and it loses about like a minute and a half. Um, yeah, you have to run up to him and take damage and like reset your position in order to like get the cycle to continue, because otherwise he'll just like sit there in the like ready to be damaged animation, but actually can't take damage. I thankfully have not gotten that in quite a long time, so... Yeah, usually I go baby strat and, you know, hold off. Yeah, I usually just wait, like, an extra, like, quarter second or so. Uh, but also, I'm on Get a Clue. Also, you can, like, grab a bolt right before, uh, like, the cutscene starts, and you'll be grabbing it, uh, like when the next part happens um so that way you can like kind of grab a bolt without saving or without losing too much time because you're like running away while most of the animation is happening but are you guys doing pit skip or out of bounds for clue i'm gonna be doing I'm pit doing... skip just because um i have no practice in out of bounds right now but... i'm doing out of bounds okay cool so we get to showcase both yeah, because you do inbounds, don't you? Yeah. 
Okay. Because I've never. Yeah. So there's two okay. routes for this level. We'll we'll talk about them a little more. I'll let KZ talk about the inbounds route because they're ahead, and then I'll talk about the out of bounds route once they get to the boss. Oh, uh, but yeah, the first wish, as you can see, the first wish I'm trying really hard to get. Um, but the <laughs> first wish we get is a world inverter. Um, so it essentially just flips the level around completely. Um, and with that, the dev intended way is you're supposed to get the world inverter, you're supposed to go get a, a ghost costume that can let you go through doors, and then you're supposed to get a magnifying glass that reveals hidden, um, hidden platforms and basically shows you the way out. Um, but instead, there are two different options that we do, those being Clue Out of Bounds and uh, Pit Skip. But I will be showing off Pit Skip. Um, which optimally, if done completely optimally, it is slightly faster than Clue Out of Bounds, um, but is very hard to do it actually optimally, as I'll show the jump a little later on. But we have the Yeah, little... they, uh... Sorry. Basically, the inbounds route has been what everyone has done for a long time, but uh, I spent a lot of time theory crafting the Out of Bounds route as soon as... Uh, I don't remember who found that out of bounds trick. I wish I remembered. Um, but uh, they. I think it was uh, Alexis, out of bounds. wasn't it? Was it Alexis? And it very likely was Alexis. Um, very likely Alexis Another VR. Could right have right also right. been Gaming Guy. Um, I believe. Uh, oh, I just got a crazy lag spike that gave me a really fast run in Clue. Um, oh, I missed but, uh, it. I'm about to oh, do no. the bounds here. I missed oh, that all the time. Pit skip is hard. I don't know. That's the first time I've missed pit skip in ages. But um, essentially, for all right, pit I got skip, the out of bounds. Oh yeah, I got two things to explain. Yeah, you you go ahead and do pit skip. I'll explain out of bounds after. So as you can see, we've used it a couple times without really explaining. But slopes in this game are handled incredibly awkwardly. Um, but we can use them. We used them on dad skip to get on top of the pipe, and I use it there on pit skip. Um, so you shove yourself into that corner, invert the world, and then use that weird uh, slope to hop your way back um, up to where you're supposed to go. Originally, it does look like there's no way across, but like I said, the magnifying wish is supposed to help you see invisible platforms over there um, that are supposed to help you get across. One of which doesn't actually spawn until you get the magnifying wish to prevent people from skipping that area, but we skip it anyways. <laughs> Alright, I'm about to complete the out of bounds. So basically, I, I've run around out of bounds to get to this very specific area and look up to load what is the boss room. Basically, just platforming over to the area that usually triggers you to load into the boss room. But now I'm on the outside of it, but I need to get onto the inside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump around the back of it here. And I'm going to trigger the cutscene from the outside, and it will basically, during this cutscene, Timmy is respawned in a specific specific position in bounds. So that pulls me back in bounds. The way I got out of bounds was I triggered the uh, the flip, and then while like standing right next to a cutscene trigger. And so then I held up, and so as soon as Timmy started falling, he fell into the cutscene trigger. And so just like I talked about how I got placed back in bounds here. It's the same exact thing where it, it's placing Timmy in a specific position for a cutscene, but the room is upside down. And so it places Timmy on the, uh, on the, basically on the ceiling and like on the outside because it expects to be that to be the floor and expects the room to be upside down. So it's a good little, um, fun little trick that you can do. And it works on a number of different cutscenes, but that is the best and fastest way to do it. And it does not work on all cutscenes. This boss can be pretty tedious. You have to basically you have to make sure that the back of their shadow is touching the block. Um, if the if even if like almost all of their shadow is touching the block, but not the back of it, then uh, like if the back is sticking out a little bit, then uh, they will not get hit. I didn't know that. The <laughs> hitboxes are a little funky. <laughs> yeah. So if you ever yeah, like, didn't why didn't that either. work? Yeah, if you're ever just like, what, 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 what in the world happened? Why didn't that work? It's because the back end of the hitbox was like just a little bit off. Ouch. All right, so like, probably should have known that. That might have been too far <laughs> forward. 
Yeah, like, uh, go back and watch this later, and you can see my last hit. The hitbox is, like, bare, like sticking out. Um, like, it's, like, not even on the box. It's, like, just barely touching on the back. Are you guys doing Vicky first or Escape? I do, I do Vicky first. first. You do Vicky? Okay, well, I'm, that... I'm already in Escape. I... Yeah, so that's a bit of a red difference there. So we don't yep. know. Who's... Yeah, I we uh so Casey, you said you do uh, ape escape, is right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm doing as well. So there's basically, as we've seen, like there's some choice in the leveling because you can you unlock multiple levels at a time. Um, These are the two levels that we don't normally have to do in any percent. Yep. So. Yeah, there's a trick to just jump right into the final boss after you finish Clue, but this is all levels, so we gotta do them all. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, because these are two of the coolest levels in the entire speedrun. Yeah, these levels have some really cool glitches. Yes. The banana gun is one of my least favorite wishes in the game. Oh. Uh, same. I despise this thing. Basically, you have to charge it up, and and based on how long you charge it, it shoots different distances. But you have to shoot kind of specific, precise targets with it, and it's uh, it's kind of bad. Yeah, kind of. Next to the slingshot, it's definitely like the worst wish. Oh yeah, oh, slingshot no, is just... worse. What? Okay, that's just rude. Oh shit, I'm about to get caught. I got caught trying so, to get over to I the- I just lost a crap ton of time, but- <laughs> Oh no, what happened? Uh, I died in the, the ghost fight. Oh, which I oh in my rip. <laughs> I was terrified of that. I was on one health the entire time. Dude, I just got caught twice. I need to be more careful here. <laughs> I got the baby- I keep getting caught by the stupid monkey guards. Uh, they're apes. Yeah, I they're they're they're, ma they're baby apes, even though they look like full-grown apes. <laughs> they're very big, buff apes, but you know, baby apes. I hate that like your can my my camera always flips around after uh, the cutscene where you like unlock the second monkey. Oh yeah, a hundred percent. That's awful. Oh, yeah, but I also just use the swag strat to jump across instead of using the banana gun because the banana gun's terrible. Uh, it doesn't save, it hardly saves any time, but you have to get it first try. Uh, there's no point going for it, but it looks fun, so. So, yeah, y'all will notice that I'm in a completely different level to theirs because I do Vicky before the eight. Yeah, feel free to talk about some Vicky strats. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I actually spent like a, a, like three weeks just completely rerouting Vicky uh, when all levels started becoming a bit more popular. Um, yeah, all of the wild routing going on has been like very meticulously timed and retimed and planned, and that is all thanks to Rose. <laughs> That level used to be kind of boring, now it's pretty fun. We also, uh, something we should mention is that auto scroller that we saw in Dad's Dream, there's actually one of those in Vicky, but uh, we don't yeah. have to play it. Yeah, we, uh, we found a way to skip that one. Now we just need to find a way to skip the one in Dad's. <laughs> yeah, so yep. I'm at the, the hover trick. So you kind of see, Timmy's just kind of hovering for no real reason. Uh, for Whatever reason, if you get the sticky uh, Timmy wish and then go and die on one of those float floaty things on the wall, he just can float. And we use it yep. to go to the very top of the level, and we hit the banana. It's not just floating though; it has a lot of weird properties where, like, you can't fall unless you like push against a surface that has like an incline, and then you can't jump unless you're touching the ground. But when you jump, you just fly through the air. But we use it's it. Weird. We use it to fly to the top of the level, and as you can see, I am in the the ape statue's mouth. And what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna very I'm gonna try and jump across, which I did do. Um, so it's a very incredibly tight jump to jump across to that second banana. 
And once you bounce that, yeah. it opens up a bigger banana, a banana boat, um, that lets you go straight into the boss fight. I got the jump across as well. Yeah. Now you'll notice on my screen in Vicky's, I just did a uh, infinite uh, jetpack, similar to how we do the infinite glider climbs in um, in Chin. Uh, it's, it's activated exactly the same way, uh, except this one we can actually gain infinite height with. So I just lost like ten seconds in Ape to like just a dumb panic moment where I was like, wait, what am I doing? <laughs> I like after jumping on the second banana, I jumped on top of it like I was gonna jump back, and I was like, "Wait, what am I doing?" And so, <laughs> and then the cutscene started, and I tried to skip it. <laughs> oh boy! It's all falling I do that apart all the time. I still always forget which cutscenes are skippable and which aren't, just because I'm so used to just by default pausing and going right into cutscene skip. <laughs> Also, can I point out? Did you get the quick kill? Uh, I'm about to start right now, but I did want to point out the fact that there is just a Lincoln Memorial reference in the boss arena. I couldn't yep. tell you why. It's just kind of back there. You can see it when Timmy's mom yep. shows up. You said that right as she was on my right as it was on my screen, so that was perfect. Yeah. So there's a quick kill here that you can do basically by like. He tries to knock you off this big arena, but if you ground pound really quickly, he won't knock you off, and then you have to get like a shot out really quick. Oh crap, I need more bananas. I got... I didn't get the quick kill, but I took two health by standing on top. Nice. I just got the pinball, which is the best wish in the game. You cannot convince me otherwise. With some of the best music in the game. Mm -hmm. Except we don't hear any of it because we skipped that whole section. Unfortunately. But... It's still the most fun wish to control. Darn, I missed the quick kill because I powered the banana gun too much and it went over him. Oh no. <laughs> I've never had that happen. I never charge the banana gun when I'm going for quick kill, ever. I just kind of throw it and hope. Yeah, you just kind of do like a, a little eh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed it the second time too. I didn't get it. Like, like a little oh, well. kid throwing a base, baseball and just threw it right yeah, at the it was ground, like, you know? It's like a kid in the outfield at their t-ball game, you know? It's like, eh. Well, Are you allowed to make that reference, Cosmo? Are we gonna, did he make a, another very topical... A Star uh, Wars? Yeah, very topical Star Wars reference. Yeah, yeah, your war is over, little star. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't forget that star's going on track. Oh, yeah. They, they make uh, so uh, many uh, puns in this game. There are some meta jokes, too. Like, like uh, in Fairy World, they're like, uh, be sure to look at the, the municipal town hall, because it took someone ages to build. <laughs> you know? Yeah, because it's like an area that you totally don't need to go to. Like, if you're, if, if you just run jump across it, so it's kind of funny. It's almost like they knew we were going to skip it. <laughs> I mean, the programmers spent a long time on it. You have to, you know, we never appreciate their work. Yeah. Thanks, speedrunners. You appreciate the work of the 3D modeling artists who model your games. Yeah, dang speedrunners always just want to go fast, never take time to oh, no. smell the flowers. Can't just... And yeah, I was literally gonna say some other flowers. <laughs> I did it again. Okay. All right, now you're gonna see me do one of the weirdest skips. Uh, I'm literally just gonna infinite uh, fly with jetpack right out the ceiling. Oh, thank you. One of the main just... reasons I do Vicky first is because it takes longer to do, and I, it's more of a run killer for me than eight. But we're going out of bounds. We can see that area over there, which is still spawned from when we went and got the pinball wish. Uh, and I'm gonna go underneath it so that way I can skip the auto scroller. Oh, 
but I'm pretty sure the audio gets a little awful when you start layering the uh, the jetpacks. Um, if you spam the jump, the jetpack button, I'm pretty sure they all just kind of layer together, and it creates an absolute mess of audio. Um, yeah, it sounds yeah. really gross. And I kept doing it as I was saying how disgusting it is. So I hope everyone enjoyed. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Going for a little swag stride here, going through the loop. Yeah. If you do that just right, it doesn't lose any time. In the first room that you hover through, there's like a loop on the ceiling that's like in the dead center of the ceiling. So if you just hold all the way up, you can go through it and then you just drop immediately and you land on the edge of the platform. Incredible. Yeah. One thing I that uh, if you do decide to learn this game, uh, if you do decide to learn all levels, you have to be careful of is you can actually uh, crash your game if you take damage while doing your infant hover. Yep. Yeah, um, if, you, if you take damage from anything, you're toast. I am learning mm. as much as the audience is. <laughs> so I didn't know that. You didn't know that? No. Nope. Wow, well, just flexing oh. on us. Well, I've never been damaged during Infinite Hover, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> uh, sorry that I'm just a little too good for you guys. <laughs> uh, I'm actually starting the uh, the Vicky boss fight now. Uh... No. I was going real so... fast with the ball and. Then the laser. Oh. There's technically a faster way to do the Vicky boss fight, but pretty much nobody does it because it's basically pass only. Uh, it's the only reason we get the Gamma Suit is for this boss fight. So I, I missed a trick I was going for there. Uh, on my, If you use the pinball to get a bunch of momentum, you can jump up on this metal box here and start the infinite hover a bit higher up, and it uh, saves a little bit of time. I. Uh, I'll have to show it to the two of you later, because I found it earlier today. Um, oh, okay. Uh, but yeah, I, I just learned that earlier today, so I do not have it mastered. Someone's hoarding strats so that we wouldn't win the race. I get it, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I told Rose earlier that I found some new strats, and uh, she was just like, nah, that's cool. We'll just You can just show me later. But you didn't Is that really what I said, though? Me. Is it? <laughs> Oh my goodness, no, I'm being gaslighted. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's alright, you did jump here late, you found some new strats. Hey, is it really a marathon if there's no gaslighting? Come on. Gaslight, gatekeep, girl <laughs> boss, I guess. <laughs> Rose over here. <laughs> now, uh, as you damage Vicky uh, in this boss fight, uh, Mark will start throwing out random lasers. Uh, after each damage, which will break parts of the uh, the Eugonium tiles that you make. And it's always the same ones, so we know where they are, it, but there's still a chance that you can mess up. Alright, I'm going for infinite hover. I am as well. Good luck. <laughs> or infant hover. I meant the the like uh, crazy out of bounds for. We mm -hmm. you know you guys know what I mean. I'm yeah, we know we know what you're talking about. Nonsense. Trying to get to the. Yeah. Also, part. you might notice if you were really paying attention, you might notice that we actually have that the um the portion that we are like uh, going to in out of bounds is does not correspond to where it is in bounds at all because there's basically that elevator that we go into that takes us to this portion of the map is basically just a teleporter that teleports us really far away. Yeah. And the elevators are actually located in the same relative position. Yeah. Like yep, it's like I think it's just half one of the back half of the yeah, back half of the elevator is one. And I just finished Vicky, so I'm heading on to eight. I'm getting real close to the boss fight for Vicky. Yeah, I am going towards the door. Yeah, so like, unless I do really good on Ape, y'all are gonna beat me. But... Oh, interesting. KZ, you have the building loaded while you do this? Yes. I do as well. 
I I don't. So this will be interesting for uh, some people. I do this a little bit differently than they do, which it technically saves like a very small amount of time. Instead of having to fly around that big building, I have it. I unloaded it by loading in a different area, and then I'm gonna get close to this door at a very specific angle, and it's gonna load a bunch of stuff around me instead of needing to fly through it or fly all around it. I basically was able to just fly through it all. That sounds if you're not really careful, weird. it'll uh, load with you in bounds, though. So you have to approach it at a very precise angle. That sounds awesome, and I have also no idea what you're talking about, but I hope it worked for you. It, it it did, yeah. I'm surprised you you didn't know that. You'll have to go back and watch the VOD. I feel like I learned something new about this game, like, every single time I watch anything or participate in anything related to it. Oh, yeah, because we always have random factoids that don't actually... Could do anything for the run, but there's a decent amount that I didn't know. I think it was in Dad's dream where you have to do gap skip, um, where I didn't know that if you could cut inside of the like one, like the uh, the thing in the floor, like the pipe, that that gives oh you a yeah, point. where the the respawn trigger is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know about that. Yeah, yeah. There's a spot in Dad's dream where we where we jump over a really big gap. And there's a respawn trigger like right before it, which is really convenient, but it's also really poorly placed. And it's incredibly easy to just run around it on accident. And then when you die, you're back at the beginning of the level. <laughs> well, not quite at the beginning, but at the beginning of that section. Right. And then you gotta do the little suit skip again. There is a, a, a strat that uh, allows us to beat Vicky without using, without needing the Ugonium suit at all. Yeah, I was, um, I was talking about that a little earlier, but... Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, but it's just really hard, so none of us, I don't think any of us even try it's, it. It's, it's pretty much Tass only at this point. It, yeah, there's a couple people that have done it RTA in ILs and stuff, but it's very difficult. Yeah. Yeah, I've n never even attempted it. I have no idea how to do it. I've tried it. I've never been able to do it. Basically, uh, you use the pinball and you run down the platform uh, that t that's like goes down towards where Vicky is. And then you jump, you do a very precise double jump to land on the back corner of that square platform and then double jump again over to the button that's behind them. And then uh, you can either use Ugonium to get the other two or you can... Oops, I accidentally jumped and missed and jumped through a hole. Uh, but you can also use the infinite hover to get around. Uh, but it is, we, we spent a lot of time timing it out. And that trick is not a whole lot faster than just doing it this way. Because um, getting the the uh, the suit does not take that long once you have pinball. Yeah. All right. So and that was one of the things that I routed out was uh, using mm -hmm. pinball to get the Yama suit faster. Yeah, because the pinball is supposed to be the last item you get, and there's this whole like big puzzle section that you get to unlock the final boss. But the pinball movement is so fast that it's actually fastest to just go get it first. If we could ever find a way to take wishes into other levels, this game would just be a pinball game. They'd just be like monkey ball. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, rip. I messed up on the last button. I am in the shadow boss fight. Ooh. Oh, wow, nice. Wow. So, so you're getting, yeah. it sounds like you got first place unless you got some major chokage. Uh, it's always possible. I've choked pretty. I've choked pretty hard on Shadow before. But yeah, you can see I'm, Shadow. I'm doing Moon Jump right now. Very uh, very simple boss fight. Basically, whichever uh direction he faces, you have to go hit the button that he is facing. It'll shine a light in his face, uh, and then you go and bounce his foot. Uh, also, time is coming up. Yes. Uh, last hit on Shadow is oh, time. That's time. So there we go. Oh no! I missed... Dang. Oh, you missed the I, jump I, across? I missed the jump across, so... Rip. So I gotta do moon jump again. So that lost, uh, that lost about 40 seconds there. Yeah, for once we actually... 
if you're watching my screen, we get to watch one cutscene. Because time does not apply anymore. <laughs> Also, there's a, a bit of a, uh, R, like an RNG manipulation you can do here, where if you stand over, like, over a button, he won't move at all. He's supposed to spin around this room. Time for me. And, uh, that was a PB for me, actually. Is it actually? Nice. I might still PB. What was the time? Uh, I got a 48.52 by my count on my splits. Oh my god, I was in, um, I was within the ballpark no, of just, my PB. What is this? I'm about to do 18 fight now. Man, a 48. You got almost 48 flat. That's wild. That's a really good time. That's nearly my yeah, PB. Yeah, I'm jealous. <laughs> what is yeah that? for a race especially? That is a really good job. I thanks, uh, thanks, Oscar. <laughs> Yeah, oh, shout outs to Oscar Guy, dude. Uh, been absolutely killing this category. Um, lately, just got second place, I believe. Oh, yeah, for all levels. Yep. Came in and um, watched me. Yes. Think, he watched me stream one time and he was like, I want to do this. And then within like two weeks, he took second place. So, absolutely. Yeah, it was wild. He, he came in and he was like, Oh, yeah, I can play this game. Absolutely all right, let's see if Rose gets the quick kill. Uh, now I have so much pressure because I'm the only one being watched. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. You're so close. I believe. I believe. You got this. This is good. Hey, to eat banana justice. <laughs> I love that line. That's like one of my favorite lines. This game has some. Lands or chattels or bondsmen or any of that stuff. This game has some gems all over the place, but eat banana justice. Yeah. It's up there. Yeah, banana justice is easily. My favorite line. I think that was the name of my split. That the name of the split for me at one point. I might change it back to that. Right now, it's just banana, nana, nana, nana. <laughs> I think mine's <laughs> I think mine's monkey smile. I'm pretty sure that I might have got. And that was quick kill. And on the fight, on the shadow fight. Speedy I think that was the best 18 fight I've had in quite a while. Wow, that was great. Wait, I right, looked away for a second. Did you get the quick kill? Yes, I did. Oh my goodness, that was awesome. I, I looked back, I was like, wait, they must have, she must have gotten it. That's awesome. I'm so glad that we were able to, someone was able to show that off. Because I think KZ got the first half, I didn't get it at all, and then you were able to show off the whole thing. So that's a really cool strat. Yeah, very cool. Um, it saves a ton of time. Ah. Mm -hmm. I suck at Shadow Fight, though. Just gotta, just gotta spend some time grinding it out a little bit. Yeah, I probably should. Right before I, I can teach you the RNG manip strat. It makes it way easier. When I first started running this game, I didn't understand how to beat Shadow, so I spent like I think it was like 20 minutes on the Shadow fight on my first run. Oh no! Like just something. Because you were just stupid. like hitting buttons and he wasn't taking damage. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! But I think. Oh that's no! Funny. Oh boy. You can stand right up next to him when he does that, uh, the cane bounce and just ground pound as well. You don't have to worry about getting hurt. Yeah. I think. Almost though, you got. Got it. Let's go. Come on. I believe. Fully believe. All right, and time for me in now. Ooh, nice. That was time for me, and I also PB'd by three minutes and 11 seconds. So. Oh my God, nice. Double PB. Fat PBs and, tonight. And you got almost a PB. You were really close, weren't really? you, KZ? I didn't have splits open. I'm going to be honest. But... <laughs> <laughs> That's probably not a bad move. Yeah, no, I was. I didn't want to worry about that. I didn't think I was even going to come close to sniffing my PB. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, of course, yeah. people on, on my end, when I upload this... They're gonna be like, who who is Rose talking to? Because I don't have Discord audio in my stream. But <laughs> oh goodness, oh, that's funny. But All that right, was, but, uh, that, that was super that was, fun. Yes, yeah, that was awesome. Thank you, Licenseathon, for GGs. having us. This was awesome. Yeah, thank you to everybody with uh, Licenseathon, everyone who's helping out on the tech team and uh, setup team and everything. We we appreciate y'all. Um, also, uh, like. 
Uh, thank you to, you know, Jack for running it. Thank you to Tempestrel for kind of, you know, keeping everything running smoothly and everything. And uh, and thank you to KZ and Rebel Rose. And KZ, congratulations on your win. Thanks. Yeah, congratulations. And thank you, License the for letting us run for y'all. Oh, it's been fantastic. Do y'all want to plug your, your channels and stuff? Uh, that would probably be a good idea. So everyone, if you <laughs> really want to follow me and see more, because I'm going to be speedrunning this, uh, twitch.tv slash kz781. I am just twitch.tv uh, slash Earl Grey. And I'm Rebel Rose. All right. All right. Well, thanks so much. Y'all got anything else you want to say, or can we throw it back to them? I think we can throw it back. Yeah. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, all. Bye.